we've done, we've prepped the board, we've cleaned it, and you've set yourself up for a professional presentation. And that's the key to a good start. Into the uh, post-mission debrief, I'm giving you an example, a very quick example, of what it's like to debrief a, a mission. Now, this is an extremely abbreviated look at a missile uh, or an a, a, uh, intercept tactic. Uh, we have a two ship guys, a two ship of uh, say F-16s to the uh, west southwest, and we have a bad guy two ship of say MiG-29s uh, uh, from some from some rogue state from some terrorist nation out there. So he's driving in. He doesn't see us yet. All right, he's probably up there about 30 or 40 thousand feet. We're zorching along. We've got a good radar contact, and we shoot our missile off, and the missile gets gets shot off the aircraft. Uh, first, we'll have to straighten ourselves up a little bit. And we'll go ahead and turn, we'll shoot off the uh, aircraft, comes probably an AIM-120, and this uh, supersonic missile is going after this bad guy, and he's going through the air, and he's going real fast. He's zorching en route, okay? That's a very generalized look at a, a post-mission tactic. So there's lessons learned out of this, by illustrating this. So what did you get out of this? Were you paying attention to this, or were you, were you paying attention to the missile or something? The boy. Okay, you notice how he's able to use different colors, and look what we, illustration we have here, and how quickly it came up. Now what if you have to erase it real quick? And well, that's, and that's very important. Okay? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. And you can use surgical about it as well. Okay? Surgical meaning, look, let's just take the S off. Okay? All right? It's very thick. The pad's very thick. It's replaceable. Not there. Now, the presentation, mate, has been around. The concept's been around a long time. Um, we've been utilizing this concept for many, many years, uh, approximately the last 15 to 20 years in the military. We used to use a little, utilize little wooden blocks, drill some holes in them, put the pins in vertically, etc. Well, I came up with this concept close to 20 years ago, and I was thinking to myself, why can't I put something that, that encompasses everything, okay, where it's all right here, where you don't have to reach, uh, where you don't have to interrupt the information, to utilize the product, you notice how it's, it's, it's a natural extension. I don't even think about using it. It's just part of me at this point. Once you use it for a few times, like anything else, it takes a little bit of practice, but it doesn't, it's, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to handle this, okay? The pins, uh, they twist in and out real easily. It usually takes a couple weeks for the natural lubrication process to uh, occur. Um, you get used to using this. It's just, it, once again, it's an outstanding product. Um, again, you can use the back side of it for a straight edge if you'd like to. It's built very strong. It is made in the USA. Again, I didn't skimp on uh, the thickness of the pad because I think that's always a problem and an issue with some of the products they have out there right now. Most people don't like the eraser products that are out there. Uh, I, I have seen some other uh, uh, presentation made like eraser pads out there, but I won't go into the corporations that, uh, that are doing that. So well, one more thing, uh, in the holes themselves, most of your standard pins will fit. We have different size concentric rings inside the, the hole that holds the dry erase pin. And I'll also tell you that uh, uh, these pins will probably last a lot longer, uh, giving a better value to the customer for the price. And it's just under $20.